Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of my France campaign. And there are some very happy men on the battlefield right now. They are cheering and ready to go. But before we start, I just want to give a huge shout out to Edward Mitria, or Mitria, I believe. He commented on my one of my last episodes, I believe, of the France campaign uh, when I was talking about the lagging when I was dragging around and especially rotating my screen and he gave me a tip to actually disable some of my cores for my Ryzen processor and ch check this out like what a legend he's actually fixed my game I have like no lag when scrolling around I he had said to disable all of them except for four or five but I was actually able to get the best frame rate with about eight to ten of them so I'm only disabling about five because I think mine's a 15 or a 16 core processor. So I disabled about 5 to 6, and uh, man, this this is just amazing. So Edward, if you are watching, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm also using the performance mod as well, and I did download the Blood and Gore DLC performance pack, which basically ports in Rome's, Rome 2's Blood and Gore over top of the Attila, because I guess the Attila ones cause uh, large FPS drops. But, I, yeah, I think that's all I needed to cover. Reason I haven't started right away is because once I press start, I want to try and kill this general as quickly as possible. Uh, Arthur, the king's bodyguard, who was outside of the city. And then we're also going to follow up closely behind because, if you guys remember, this is the siege for Bordeaux. And I believe they have something like seven or eight units of those longbows. And I'm just going to get shredded by that. So I have to quickly get rid of this general. And then we'll move up my infantry, get them in a good shield wall, and then hopefully be able to peel off my cavalry and eliminate those archers one by one. So let's go ahead and uh, just go in slow motion for now. Going to charge forwards with this cavalry. Also bring this cavalry up and my general. Again, kind of want to get rid of him as quickly as possible. And then, yeah, let's move our units up here as well. Um, have a bit of a cold to, uh, or at least a sore throat, so um, apologies if I'm a little quieter than usual. Uh, also, since my stream, I have been unable to get my volume to the exact same settings as I used to have it. I feel like I'm just a little bit quieter than normal. Uh, I had to bump my mic up from 90 to 100, so I don't really know what I broke, but I mean, uh, I played it back and it seems to be alright for now, which is good. Okay, he's trying to uh, get out of here. I'm not sure if he's trying to link up with some of his reinforcements. Oh, yeah, they're actually coming in from behind. I see. Okay. So let's pull uh, these guys over this way. Uh, that should do it. And, yeah, we're going to be able to catch him as he tries to retreat. I had no idea that they would come up behind me like this, so hopefully we can get rid of him quickly. Let's bring uh, two melee cavalry units that way and one this way. And uh, we'll just bring the general back to the tree line. He's not going to be able to do too much for us at this point. And actually, uh, since we got a little bit of a rise here, let's let's just form up on this hilltop. We do have a few archers of our own, so we will uh, get them into a good position as well. Oh yeah, he's getting slaughtered because he's trying to pull out of combat. Excellent. But yeah, I'm getting, uh, even when I'm rotating around like this, I'm getting about 75 frames. So that's just absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, uh, Edward, for that little tip. Because yeah, I was so underwhelmed by the, by the Ryzen processors. They're just not what I expected for gaming performance. I know that they say that they're kind of supposed to be built for uh, doing multiple tasks at one time, and especially being a YouTuber. Uh, they're said to be very good for uh, rendering and uploading videos and content, which is excellent. But, I mean, I kind of need good gameplay as well, so. Uh, who's left here? Yeah, let's, let's not exhaust ourselves. Oh, here's their other unit of cavalry. So let's try and uh, get these guys out of here. Let's pull these two in just a little bit, and uh, the general's going to have to get his sword wet here, I think. Oh, 
also don't want to exhaust my cavalry too quickly. I want them to be able to rest a bit before we go after all of those archers, because that's going to be a bit of a toughie. Let's try and cut them off if we can. I have no idea where he's running to. And actually, I'm going to keep my general back here just in case they start to charge up and I need to get uh, some of my units out of there. Am I just going to chase this guy down? Oh, oh, we might, we might have him here. Yeah, we got him. Nice. So he did charge into my melee cavalry, which isn't the best. Oh, no, no, no. Shoot, that's a misclick. My bad. Kind of pulled him out of melee a little bit, so he is going to take some casualties. Whoa, so where are they going to? Did they leave all their archers undefended? I bet you they have. Okay, form up this way. Yeah, they are... They are uh, just walking over to this area. That's kind of bizarre. It was almost like they were going to reinforce their general there. Let's get the archers over here as well. But yeah, this is this is not going to be good. Oh gosh. I know I shouldn't be pulling my my cab out of melee, but I've got no other choice. I actually might even lose it, which is a little frustrating. Yeah, let's just uh, go after all of these archers. Ooh, please survive, Cav. Okay, form up here, guys. Form up here. Right here. Archers on those buildmen right now. Both of them. Yeah, slaughter those buildmen. Where's my... Yeah, so the cavalry did survive. That's excellent. Let's get my general over here as well. And units almost ready. Shield wall. Yeah, just slaughter these archers. Go, cavalry, go! And yeah, we should be picking apart these billmen as they try to escape. That's actually an awesome screenshot. You can see my forces formed up just in the distance there. Well done. So let's focus on what's going on here. Let's, uh, hammer and anvil them here. Okay, let's move forwards. Uh, except you guys, I didn't actually notice they were in melee. That's fine. We'll flank around. There we go. Let's uh, get an intimidation here. Yeah, a lot of them breaking. That is excellent. Let's try and run as down as many as possible, though, because we uh, need to remember that this is the garrison of Bordeaux, so we don't really want them to escape with too many of their men left. So what are they doing? They've kind of just formed up over here, which is interesting. Uh, you you guys cannot shield wall yet? Why not? Probably some uh, units were running through them. How many have we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, 12. Here, get a good charge into the backs of them for me. And, yeah, they've just shattered. So that's actually gone very well for us. Let's uh, open up here. And kind of form up this direction. Yeah, keep on those billmen, though. Want them to run down. And that cavalry unit can run down that one there. So let's move over here with our main infantry line. We've got this battle now. So yeah, once we take that, I think I think we don't really have too much more in the way of objectives for the French mainland. What I'm kind of thinking of now is preparing an invasion of the uh, English Isle itself. I think that would be really cool uh, for the French to just kind of retaliate against the English. Um, 
as I said, we're not really going for any kind of long-term objectives uh, for this for this uh, campaign. Because I'll probably want to uh, showcase a few other ones, but at the same time, I'm not I'm not just going to do a few episodes and uh, when I see the views start to kind of decline, just just let it go and start something new. Like uh, I'm enjoying this campaign, so I think we should kind of have have a little bit of a plan as to what we're doing instead of just oh showcasing the mod for couple of turns here and there. I think that, you know, as France, us taking over the British Isles would be a really cool objective that nobody's really tried before. But, uh, of course, you guys can leave your suggestions in the comments down below if you would like. Uh, maybe need to just cut it a little shorter. I can consider that. But I think even part four has got like 700 views, which is uh, insane for my channel. Really, really good. Uh, can we actually, at, at risk of us being caught out without shield wall here, just want to kind of tuck in a little bit and don't even fire on those spears. I don't really care about them too much. And shield wall. Nice. Uh, all that cavalry is good to go. Uh, what do we got over here? Three, four... And two, yeah, not worried about that at all. Got two there. Running down those billmen. Yeah, 33 longbowmen. We need to kind of take care of them if possible. Oh, these billmen, why are they why are they walking so slowly? Get into combat, Billmen. Can I wrap around here with a few units? Yeah, I can. Actually, uh, both of these two aren't even engaged in melee. There we go. Crush these spears. Hit these billmen from the side. Got the cavalry moving through. Yes, yeah, so a very successful battle for the French here. How many did we actually lose? Uh, less than 100 so far. That is really good. And there we go. There's the full break. Victory for the French. We'll push on. Let's uh, get the cavalry on them as well. Uh, archers, let's not get any more friendly fire, so we'll pull them back, turn them off fire at will for now. And just do a little bit of fast forwarding. I think we did have yet yeah, a few cavalry units that are coming in. And this should see the city of Bordeaux under French control, which is excellent. Uh, either that or it should be a very easy auto resolve. Run them down. What do we got here? Just, oh, that guy, that one's done. And just two there. So let's end the battle. A decisive victory for France. And there we go. So 99 men lost. That is excellent. And look at the kills on the cavalry here. One, two, six, two, three, seven. One, eight, four, two, seven, or two, two, seven. And 195, the general also getting 96, but some uh, solid kills on the uh, rebalts as well. 106 there, and uh, those archers just tearing up those billmen. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take the kill the captain. Sorry. And yeah, this this uh, garrison should be yeah, basically non-existent. And unfortunately, we do need to get some. Siege equipment here. What about that? One turn. Well, just ladders is fine. They shouldn't be able to get any replenishment since we siege them. Or are sieging them this turn. Okay, so how are we looking for food here? It is quite rich. We've already got a wheat farm, which is good. And we've got this noble, noble Demesne. Or Demes. So we'll leave that for now. Is there anything I can upgrade up here? How are we looking for food here? Yeah, not that good. So let's upgrade the wheat farms. And 
And yeah, Bordeaux, we're going to finish off that very soon, that province. And, oh yeah, actually, we're, we're poised and ready to strike, so... Excellent, excellent. I would like to get some more cavalry in here. I mean, some crossbow cavalry would be pretty sweet. Don't have a lot of missile block, but they would be good for going after enemy billmen. You may as well get comfy, man. Would that take two turns, really? It's kind of lame. Okay, never mind. Well, because I think we're going to just move in Make haste, men. with this uh, with this other army next turn. Uh, actually, if we encamp, do we get more replenishment? Yeah, plus 2%, so a little bit more. Uh, here, though, maybe a rebellion pretty soon. Have to keep an eye on that. What do we got here? Imperial Pretenders. Okay. We've got Trier. Actually, it looks like Trier has has a few settlements. I'm not sure if they're pushing out. Oh, probably against the Holy Roman Empire. That's right. Uh, but Burgundy is here. Uh, who is not friendly with us? We've got the Almohad Pretenders here. The Almohad Caliphate and the Ayyubid Sultanate. Uh, probably because we declared war on the Ayyubids because of our agreement to go on crusade. England also hates us. Uh, Mecca, yeah, they're not even close to us. So yeah, most other people like us, which is good. So if we can keep up the uh, good relations with people around us, we should be able to just uh, steamroll right into England without many problems at all. Uh, trade agreement, maybe? I don't know why they're so indifferent to trade. Like, it's free money for me, free money for you. I don't know why you wouldn't agree to that. Ah, there we go. Genoa is agreed. No non-aggression pack, though, unfortunately. But maybe since I've agreed with Pisa to have a trade agreement, maybe we will be able to... Uh, or sorry, since we have a trade agreement with Genoa, maybe Pisa will like that a little better since we are trading with other Italian factions. That's Very good. So, I mean, maybe we can strike at London next turn. We've got um, Colchester here, which is not very well defended. And then Bristol over here. That would be a good staging ground for us to maybe raise another army. Not too sure. Um, I could maybe throw a few more units into the King's army. Might be a good idea. How many crossbows do I have here? I've only got our. Oh no, I've got a lot of crossbows. Never mind. Uh, so maybe a bit more infantry I could. Uh, let me take a look at uh, the differences in stats here. So these are a little bit slower. Missile block is the same. They've got more morale. More armor, more melee defense. But they're going to take two turns, is the only problem. Could get a few units of pikemen. That might be nice. They're pretty garbage, though, to be honest. Maybe just get uh, four, more of, four more of them for now. Uh, since there is no mercenaries, right, we, we won't be able to return to, or sorry, we would have to return to uh, France to get any more units because there's no mercenaries unless uh, we captured London and then maybe built a certain building there. I'm not sure if you have access to your pool of uh, units right away. Heaven be praised. Let's uh, head down here and see what's going on in Spain. Got the Kingdom of Navarre. And then the Crown of Aragon here, very, very powerful, very wealthy. They have some good settlements. And then we've got the Kingdom of Castile there. So is there anyone else that wants to trade with me? Sicily, Welcome, maybe. Worthy guest. What if I throw some money at these guys? I will offer you 300. How about 600? 
Final offer. Okay, whatever. Uh, Braybot, maybe? Nice. Not aggression? Yeah, sure. I have no interest in going after you right now. The day's greetings to you. Speak. We're not interested in non-aggression right now. Uh, they're neutral to me. They don't like war with the Kingdom of England. Well, that's kind of too bad. They attacked me first. Yeah, so actually the Spanish not really liking me too much, which is a little bit concerning. I mean, it is what it is. Probably do we have... Yeah, we've got trade with the Kingdom of Castile, and uh, I don't think they like each other very much, so that's probably... No, I mean, they're they're pretty friendly, so... Uh, why why do they not like me so much? Because it's this is deteriorating. Kingdom of England, military actions against the Kingdom of England. Why are they so buddy-buddy with the Kingdom of England, I wonder? So that could be a little concerning, so I may have to uh, build up this army and keep it down south to protect our southern regions here. Very good. Okay. I think we are good to go, uh, and let's end, end the turn. We do not give gifts. <laughs> They're offering me 7,000. Wow. Um, I will give them peace if they become a puppet. No. No peace, then. There will not be peace, England. Not aggression with them. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Again, I am probably not going to be going east, so any friends to the east are definitely a good buffer zone. I wonder if the Pope's going to be upset if I don't send a crusade. Does anybody know who's played 1212? Does the Pope get upset if you don't send any units down to actually go for the Caliphate? Yeah, we're, we're struggling with uh, sanitation here, that's for sure. Uh, as soon as I get Bordeaux, I think I'm putting in a sanitation building. All right, this should be a good, easy auto resolve. Uh, just balance stance. Hopefully, we don't lose any of our cavalry. Nice. Yeah, only forty lost. Excellent. And we will occupy. Ready for battle. No point in the loot and occupy because I don't want it to uh, be destroyed. Got the vineyards, which is nice. Uh, city guard house. Don't think we need that. We've got fields here. Uh, but we've already got two wheat farms, so I think we can get rid of that. And the vineyard. What does this do? Oh, it's a resource production of wine. Do we have wine already? Uh, what do we X? We're producing wine... But are we producing wine because of this building? Probably. Although, I mean, the French are known for their wine, so I would be surprised if we didn't have any other vineyards. No, it looks like that's it. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll keep that as a resource building. That's fine. And then we'll put a sanitation building in here. Commander. Got the replenishment rating income. Uh, Our integrity is great. Let's get the extra replenishment and extra integrity. Yeah, all of that is good. And our Imperium has expanded. Excellent. So we can have more armies. Very good. Alright, so... Let's move in here just a little bit. So they are building a force. 
Ooh, London is not not that well garrisoned, actually. Okay, let's stop that. Let's get these guys ready to go. So let's pull him here. And let's go for a draw out of London. Thanks, England. Oh, and we could just auto resolve that. I think to save time, that would be would be in the best interest. We do have they do have a lot of archers, but oh wait a minute. Uh, we didn't bring in the other one, which is fine. But okay, let's uh, do protective. And take on the replenishment. I'm afraid we cannot. Uh, that was a. Maybe I should have fought that because now, yeah, the garrison is is. At your command. Let them come. The garrison isn't completely destroyed, so I'm gonna have to siege it for one turn. But I mean, that's fine. They're they're pretty weak already. Uh, looking at Bristol, yeah, that's a solid force there, actually. I mean, he should be in reinforcement range. I could force march there. But, I mean, if anything comes against me, I, we probably will be fine there, especially with the amount of cav we have. But, yeah, it looks like uh, London might be falling very shortly. Uh, for these guys here, I think because they just fought the battle, they're not going to be able to move, but we could get a few more units in here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that is too many. So let's merge up. So that's fine there. And then let's get four crossbows. Um, I mean, the archers are nice. So let's do three crossbows, two archers. And then we've got the cavalry. I mean, we've got these heavy melee cav. How do they compare here? 38, 56, Uh, they're pretty close to the same stats, except these guys have veterancy on them, so I mean, they probably are a little bit better. Oh, they're right here. I actually could have just looked. Yeah, they basically just have a little bit more armor. But we've got one, two, three, four, five units of cavalry. So what else could we add in here? Maybe a few axe sergeants would be nice. We need good fighters. And that should be good. Don't want to break our income too much, though, because we definitely need to kind of deal with the consumption here. So where is the... Or can we only build it in the main... Settlements. Leprosarium. Do we do we have that? Is that like a like leprosy? Leprosarium? Is that where the name comes from? That's very interesting. Anyways, yeah, we'll put that in there. And uh, we kind of need to upgrade this, but we have to go for this here, which is going to take us like forever to get to the physician, I would imagine. So we might just have to deal with the uh, consumption issues, to be honest. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. Could offer them a defensive alliance for now. No, they don't want that. Even though I'm so much stronger than them, that's bizarre. Ah, come on. We have wine now. No, you want it. Sicily. Come then, speak. Yes, excellent. Non-aggression? Ah, yeah, sure. Less people that attack me, the better. Do not waste time on pleasantries and babble. Why don't they like me? Great power. Yeah, basically, these two just don't like that I'm going against England, but... I mean, it is what it is. 
Good honor. Very good. Okay, let's do another end turn. Oh, hold on. Provincial governor. Uh, so... Got Aquitania. Um, Francia already has one, but I think Aquitania needs one next. It's a pretty large one. Both these state uh, statesmen are quite old, but I guess... I'm going to have to pull this one in so that he doesn't lose loyalty. And what do we want to do here? Is there anything for sanitation? Or wealth from agriculture and growth would definitely be good. Yeah, let's just go for that. And hopefully we don't have any rebellions. I might have to get another force here to deal with those rebellions. Can't be having people rebelling while I'm trying to campaign in England. I'm interested to see if they have another army. I feel like they would have brought it up by now. And in the balance bar, they were quite weaker to us. Like, quite quite a bit weaker. I'll check their actual strength ranking, but we ha I have to remember, too, that they don't hold the whole of the British Isles because Scotland's in this game as well, so they may be suffering losses to Scotland. <laughs> More disease. Oh, man. And it looks like uh, some offices have been completed. So this is a general, so let's put him into Marshal. Uh, governor. General, we'll put him in that. Got a governor here. And he's just a statesman. We can put him in there for now as well, just so we gain some influence. And we... Oh, he's not come of age just yet. We have to get her married off. And yeah, let's just uh, discover a few more factions here. That is... Uh, is that Bavaria? No, that's not Bavaria. That's Saxony. Yeah. And where where was the other one I had? He's down here. He's scoping things out. As you I mean, theoretically, Castile and Aragon and Navarre should should just be focused down here against the the Muslims in the south of Iberia. They shouldn't really be coming up here to fight fellow Christians. Uh, okay, so let's just make sure. I mean, we probably don't even need him, to be honest. Protective stance again. If I lose some of my cheap spears, I don't really care that much. No, actually, they all held on. Only 33 men lost. Well done. Ooh, that is, that is tempting. But I kind of want to keep going, so we're just going to occupy. Don't want to slow down that much. Uh, but yeah, Bristol has a decent garrison. These these guys, not so much. I feel like I could beat them with what I have. So let's move in with the French the army here. Will escape. Uh, oh, yeah, the only problem is I don't have any billmen. <laughs> of course you don't. You're French. Uh, I meant uh, I don't have any crossbows to deal with those billmen. Uh, if they sally out against us, I think I should be okay. Let's uh, see here. Got some extra zeal. Uh, campaign movement plus 10 would definitely be useful. Uh, battle movement speed. Yeah. And campaign movement. Is there anything you can get here, too? Melee attack for commander's unit. 20% armor. And... Yeah, we'll give him some authority, too. Want to make sure that the king has the authority. 
And you as well. Let's give you one of those. Um. For God himself. Yeah, I mean, like, I should be able to break them, I would think. We got Catholic Church, library, yeah. Uh, get rid of that. I don't care about that. Uh, I guess we could keep that for now, but again, sanitation, really terrible here. And uh, next turn, we'll probably move over to Bristol with the main force. I should have actually given given this guy some some crossbows. But if I do that, then I probably won't be able to siege this turn. I think we should be fine, to be honest. Yeah, because they only got four units of archers. We'll just give the spears and the billmen the run around. And then when they move in to attack my infantry, we'll just uh, charge them from behind. Look at the money we're making, too. This is excellent. Okay, uh, over here. You need some sanitation. Vineyard will cause squalor. So will this. That's some really nice money, though, so we'll go... Ah, uh, well... Just looking to see if there's anything else. Don't want to spend it all on that trading... Trading jetty. Yeah, a couple of you have told me that it kind of triggers you when I don't always have my camera facing north. But I don't know, I, I kind of like just having fresh per perspectives and zipping the camera map around. Makes things look different. Yeah, so that's 4,500. We'll go ahead and do that. And then we need to uh, just head over towards the physicians. It's going to take 34 turns to get there, though. That's that's disgusting. <laughs> okay. Very good. I think we already checked in the diplomacy. We got everybody together that we need to. Oh, we wanted to see the Kingdom of England. How well they're doing here. Yeah, so their strength rank is 20 right now. Uh, I'm number two right behind the Ayyubid Sultanate. Uh, we're about halfway to their strength. Well, like, this is halfway. So we're close to as strong as them. Yeah, England only has four regions left. So I think Scotland is actually uh, kicking their butts in the north. Because uh, they're the two out of the four regions are, are going to be sieged. Very shortly. So, uh, Bristol here. We've got Colchester under siege. So they probably got, uh, like, York and Nottingham, maybe? And that's probably it for England. So, let's go ahead and do one more end turn, and then we'll probably end the episode. They're bringing their priest over here, probably to cause some disruption. Ooh, they're not going to move out, though. Interesting. Interesting. I guess I guess that's very smart. The, the Billmen will do much better holding the town center. But to be honest, I'm just going to starve them out. I'll, I'll go after Bristol with my main army and just wait for them. By the flame, I will have my Lord's torturers they're declaring war on me? Uh, that's fine, because you're going to give me friendship of, of all the surrounding Spanish nations by going to war with you, so fine. Oh, crap, except they're very close by. Oh, that is not good. Oh, no, 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 they're not. Okay, I, th I thought that uh, this was my territory here. Whew, that was scary. I, I have my spy down here. That's why I could see. Disease spreads everywhere! And, uh, what do we got? Uh... Just, uh, let him do that. I don't want uh, my king to have... to lower his influence too much, because then the... 
nobles may rebel since they have more influence than the faction leader. And I will encircle them as well for a few turns. Uh, we may actually fight that one, though. I think that would be a really nice battle. Uh, city Square. I don't need that, though, so get rid of that. Uh, we will upgrade that for some more public order. That will be helpful. And, yeah, that's probably all my money spent. And this will be a full 20 stack very soon. But, I mean, even in the winter time, we're just raking in the cash. We could probably could probably afford another army, I think. But how, how does that fare? Are they starting to like me a little better? Still deteriorating, even though I'm at war with the Almohad Pretenders. Uh, really, because I'm fighting the King of England, they really don't like that. Uh, what? Why is Wales uh, not liking my actions against England? That's bizarre. Well, we can go after them very shortly. Ooh, trade agreement is high with them. Excellent. Can we get some money out of them? Yes, we can. Very good. Yeah, I mean, we could probably just go right into this. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is going to be nasty, fighting six units of archers. But you guys can let me know in the comments down below what you think I should do here. I probably could just starve them out for a few turns. I mean, it, it probably won't take very long. They'll run out of supplies in four turns. And these guys in seven turns. So that will take a little bit longer. I think because they are a port settlement, that's why. But uh, the invasion of England will continue in the next episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.